Hello friends, we back for another JoJo reaction. Today we're checking out episode 28. Now in the last episode we got Oingo and Boingo. It was such a troll episode. So these these uh, brothers, one of them has the power to like change their appearance, even their voices, uh size and all that to other people and the other one has like a comic book that can tell the near future. They did a lot of shenanigans that uh, didn't work out, and uh, yeah, it was it was kind of a troll episode, if I'm being honest. So without further ado, let's check out this one. Katana? <laughs> Did he get the sword? Katana <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can sell that, right? Yep. Interesting. It's not budging. Is it one of those... It has to have a chosen one? Dude, this sword looks nasty. Whoa! Okay, so he's like the chosen one. Wait, what? The blade ringing? Oh my god. Is the, is the blade a stand? We have inanimate objects now. Oh! What the heck? What the we? Oh my god, this is some final destination shit. Shit just happens. Yeah, yeah, the sword is a stand. Wow. Anubis. Oh, it controls the user of the sword. What? Oh, shit. How did that happen? Yeah. That was weird. Can it like face through stuff? Papyrus? 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 Dude, these countries, they, they always talk to people as my friend. He just ripped it anyway. Oh, there's some dude. This dude. They're gonna have like a... Oh my god, it's gonna be like a samurai showdown. The chariot. I mean, the sword is a stand, so he can technically beat Chariot with the with the sword. Amateur, yep. It phased through. Okay, stand stats. B. Okay, B in power, B in... What's that? What's that again? Speed. Oh, okay, okay. 
E in range because the the you have to be holding it durability A. It can still develop, but precision. Why is precision low? That that should be high if the Anubis is controlling the user, right? That that doesn't make sense. Oh! Dude, he went from like an amateur to a pro. That's the bean speed. It it gives the user um bean speed. <laughs> So the holder of the stance inherits the stance attributes as well. That's what it looks like. Oh! Oh, it's gonna cut through it. Oh, he shoot that sword! Woo! Dude, that was like the technique. ジョタロにも秘密のチャリオッツの奥の手だぜ。この剣心を飛ばすのはな。もっとも一本しかねえから、買わされたら剣がなくなるんで、本当にやばい時しか使わねえがな。ドゥ、ディポシュポルネベフ
Yara yara. Urusu. Mana prima donna. Soska. Oh! Oh my god. Ore da yo manuki. Anu bisu no anji no stand sa. All right. So that's the episode. Um so it looks like this is going to be a two-parter, right? The stand is the sword, and whoever holds the sword gets possessed by the stand. Paul Nareff was able to beat it the first time using the the hidden tech, shooting the rapier, and it like ricochets off, off stuff. It has a second life now that, you know, another person uh, got hold of it. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, Jotaro is there, so he does have backup this time, so that's going to be interesting. That's basically the video. If you guys like the content, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to support your boy even more, links to Patreon down in the description. I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.